news for you today. News that you can sing about, shout about, speak about, dance about, be thankful for, be grateful for. You can rest in this news. By my sacrifice on the cross, you have been completely justified as if you had never sinned. Imagine that all your failures have been taken away by my sacrifice as I took them upon myself on the cross so that you wouldn't have to carry them yourself. That is one of the reasons I came to earth. It was to be the atoning sacrifice to take all the punishment that sin deserves as I was completely sinless. I did it for the joy set before me. That is why I endured the cross. Beloved, I've not only justified you, but I've also redeemed you. Meaning, I've loosed you from the bondage of sin. I've set you free from the captivity of the enemy and of slavery to sin. I've bought you by my blood. You are now no longer lost, but found. I ransomed my life for yours, so you could be set free. The mercy of God is so great. He made a way. He knew the only way for you to come into relationship with him was for me, the lamb, to be slain to be slain, to be the innocent sacrifice, to take the penalty for all sin, your sin. This is why you can dance and sing and live in freedom, to not live in guilt or judgment, but in freedom, as you've been completely justified and redeemed. Beloved, you will not be condemned by God as you walk by the Spirit and live by the Spirit. Beloved, you've been set free from the law of sin and death. Say with me today, I've been set free from the law of sin and death. I've been set free from the law of sin and death. My old self was crucified with Christ. So I am no longer a slave to sin. beloved your old self was crucified your old self no longer lives it is dead 
you are now a new creation, a new creation alive, filled with the spirit of the living God, living inside of you, reigning in your heart. Now you are the temple of the living God. God Almighty dwells in you through the Holy Spirit. He rests in you, inhabits you, resides in you. You are a living stone being built into a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through me, Jesus Christ. You are holy as I am holy. Beloved, when God looks at you, he's not surprised by anything. He sees all of you. He sees me and you. He sees you covered in my blood. He sees you are justified and redeemed. You need to believe. Believe that and walk in that truth. As you bathe in truth and choose to walk and be led by the Spirit, these truths will become increasingly apparent in your life. As you see the power of God 